Okay, now I'm going to show you how to get infinite rockets, infinite consumables in PvP and PvE for Destiny. First you're going to go settings. We're getting straight into it here. We're going to go to date and time. You're going to go to date and time settings. First, set using internet. Turn this off. You don't want set automatically because it will reset your time. And if your time gets set forward, it will disconnect you. We're gonna go back, we're gonna go set manually. We're gonna put our date back by one year. Enter, back. We will go straight out of here, back into Destiny. And now you will see, first we're gonna do this, come back in here. On cooldown, 364 days, 362 days, 364 days, including my machine gun telemetry. This works for all telemetries. If you want to level up your weapons super fast, this is the way to do it. As well as all the glimmer consumables, as well as your pumpkin head. And this plays an important factor when you want to see if other people are doing this in PvP. If you see people running around with, with pumpkin heads, you know that they probably turned their time back because it's been a week since Halloween thing came out. People generally aren't using this anymore. All right, so yeah, that's basically it. I uh, just wanted to say that any time that you die and uh, come back to life, you will have full rockets again. And when you start PvP matches, you will also start with full rockets right off the bat. So I recommend not doing this because I did it three times in making this video. And in those three times, I've already been banned from PvP. So let that be a warning to you. I'll switch to some gameplay footage of that right now. Okay, pay attention to the bottom left quickly. Look, there's a zero ammo for my corrective measures machine gun. I'm gonna respawn real quick. And you'll notice that I have full ammo. This basically works if you've ever used a consumable in the past, I believe. If you've ever used a special ammo synthesis, then uh, setting your clock back one year will basically make you use that synthesis all over again. You can see here I've upgraded my machine gun because my special ammo uh, up experience synthesis that I use for machine gun ammo is in effect. Alright, now you can see here, uh, I didn't show it but I actually went to the menu and set my clock back and got eight rockets here. Now I'm gonna kill Valus Tarak with my fully upgraded Gajaller horn. I'm letting myself get out in the open a little bit so I can get killed so I can demonstrate how this works. I had three rockets now if you look very closely you will see I'm gonna get resurrected with eight rockets as well as full special secondary ammo now I'm throwing up this screenshot to tell you that my account has been banned from PvP temporarily I don't know how long that's gonna last and I only did this for three games so let me show you how this works so you don't have to learn from my mistake I only did this three times and I've been banned so uh, expect the same. This is why I highly recommend if you like PvP not to do this. Alright so we're gonna go into control you're gonna see right away I have full ammo for my machine gun off the bat I also have full uh, secondary ammo so I'm gonna go in I'm just basically going to show you some gameplay footage. Now I thought I was being cheeky so I went through the first part of this match without using any heavy ammo until uh, heavy ammo became available thinking ah, I'll be just you know clever nobody will know I can get through my making my YouTube videos without anyone being the wiser but as we see that's not what happened Enemy captured zone now one thing to uh, take a look at is how many people in this video have pumpkin heads it's currently November the 9th it's uh, nine days past the Halloween event and yet there's like three or four people in here right now with pumpkin heads. When you use this technique and uh, you've used a pumpkin head in the past, it will put on that pumpkin head for you. Now you can take the pumpkin head off, but nobody really bothers. So this is a pretty clear indication of uh, who's using it. You can see this guy right here is shooting me with his uh, fusion rifle and his pumpkin head. because. Yeah, I think he's doing it as well. He kills me later with a rocket. So this is sort of the state of affairs in PvP right now. It's the people that know how to do it and the people that don't. There's another guy with a pumpkin head. Um, I imagine that uh, there's another one. See, 
yeah, uh, everyone's pretty much doing this right now. PvP is entirely broken. However, Bungie is handing out ban hammers for it, so uh, yeah, be forewarned. All right, so I highly recommend doing this only in uh, PVE at the present moment. You could probably do it in Vault of Glass as well. This is, I think, going to change the metagame for the time being as people try to take down Atheon and Gatekeeper using eight Gjallarhorn rockets every single time. However, hard mode might not be any different seeing as uh, everyone will be um, unable to respond unless you're a warlock. All right, here I'm gonna go. I think on a ten streak or something. I'm not really sure. This is just too easy. I feel kind of bad actually, <laughs> but uh, I'm doing it so you guys don't have to. Also, because telemetry is up, I'm gaining lots of experience from my weapon. A couple things about the trick: uh, you will find that you disconnect. In fact, I do disconnect before the end of the match. Um, some people were saying that it's either due to the fact that uh, your PSN automatically sets its time every once in a while, or uh, that the server periodically just checks your time versus everyone else or versus where you started or something like that. Um, someone suggested that every five minutes you just change that time again. That might work. Not really sure. Haven't had a big opportunity to try it out. Alright, so that's basically it. Enjoy the gameplay. Um, this has been out for about 12 hours, so this is a day one glitch for you guys. Uh, I try to get this out as soon as possible, especially these important ones. Five minutes remaining. Um, if you go into PvP lately, expect to see a lot of this. If you report people, though, Benji will uh, ban those people. I can speak from experience. And rightfully so. I deserved it too, because this is terrible. <laughs> Alright. So enjoy the, enjoy the rest of the gameplay. Um, good luck out there. I got some more videos coming up with some really... Uh, fun and interesting stuff and uh yeah hopefully see you guys again soon cheers don't see lost enemy captured zone c zone a neutralized Zone A, secure. 